I have uh, another example of a uh, of a hash map here that uh, that was going to teach us two things. Um, actually, let's not use the use statement this time. Let's have fun and uh, and make it inside main. So let's imagine we are making a, a hash map of books. So this will be a standard collections hash map new. So this is the we call this the fully qualified path, which is the uh, the exact location of the thing. So if we're not using a use, so some people like this. I uh, I watched one guy stream. He was a C plus plus guy, and he started to learn Rust, and he really loved using these fully qualified uh, um, paths so that he could uh, learn exactly where things were. So for the first uh, like six months. He would never, he would never write, uh, you know, standard, blah blah blah. He would just, uh, everything would be the whole address, and he found it pretty effective. So, uh, you know, that depends, uh, depends on you. But that was his preference. So let's uh, let's imagine we are inserting some books. So that is man, well, down. Well, down. That is a good book, and then uh, we'll insert some others. And this one we're going to use uh, the Petit Prince, which is the Little Prince. And then uh, here we're going to uh, Shadow. That is a Korean book from uh, 2001. And the last one will be uh, Eye of the World by Robert Jordan. And so these all have the same uh, the same key. So let's uh, let's see what happens when we try to get that key. See what it gives us. Hash map, and we're going to use get. And by the way, this will not work, not yet. And you'll see why. And there it is. So expected a uh, a reference. And in our last video, we were. Uh, we were looking at the cities and we had uh, keys which were like, uh, what were they, the German cities. And they were these which are stirs, which are already a, uh, a reference. And this uh, this function, if you look at it, it uses a, uh, a reference for both of these. The key is a, uh, a reference to, uh, you know, Q. They put Q here to mean uh, query, I think. So anyway, that's easy. Reference to one. This will never, this will work now. Oh yeah, so that's an example of how the uh, you know sometimes the compiler will tell you exactly what to do, and uh, you can just uh, you do that a lot. Like uh, oh, you wanted a reference. Okay, you want you want one of these. You want another one, or you know, do you want a star? And you just uh, you learn about the system as you go that way. And uh, so there you go. <clears throat> so this gives us some eye of the world so you can see uh, it'll just automatically rewrite if you put in the same key so uh, so watch out for that and I wonder let's see do we have time yeah the next uh, there's one really really interesting method so uh, we saw insert there's uh, this other one called uh, entry, and entry is quite the uh, quite the interesting uh, method. It um, it gave me a lot of uh, it took me a long time to understand how it works, and uh, I'll show you how this works. Let's see. So entry is uh, is like a full API to uh, to insert things and. Uh, Actually, I wrote about it in the book, so I'll show you. So here's what it looks like. Um, so it takes a mutable self, and then it returns this thing called an entry. And if you look at the entry, this is the part that really confused me in the beginning, because it returns an entry, and it turns out that an entry is uh, something, it's an enum, and it's either occupied or it's vac vacant. And uh, when you look at the uh, at uh, this uh, this entry, after you use after you try to make an entry, then you also uh, use this or insert method, 
and what it does is uh, it tries to make an entry and uh, depending on if there's something in there or something's not in there then it will do a uh, it will either make an insert so here's the insert method we know uh, the default uh, otherwise it'll return this this mute uh, mute this uh, mutable reference and that is the uh, this is the thing that really confused me in the beginning and uh, I'll show you uh, let's uh, take a look at this actually I think I'm going to devote a whole video to this so we will uh, look forward to this and uh, give it a few you know five or six minutes just to look at this one method which is uh, pretty convenient and uh, takes a while to understand or at least it did for me